All right, now we're gonna check out the Red Sea Marine Care multi-test kit. See how this one works and how this one compares to the API test kit. I never use one of Red Sea's test kits, so we'll see what we get here. Well, get three vials, get a KH, you know, A, PH, H3, and you get B and C. syringe, a little pipette, manual for the test kit and the charts. These charts are a little different than the API one, so they still have the color comparison, but they just have it displayed differently. This one goes here. These three are the number for ammonia. And that's pH. Okay, this is how it goes. All right. So now we're going to try to see exactly how this one works. I'll start off with the pH first since that's the first one that's up here. And uh, let's see what we get. It says use a syringe provided in at least five mils of water into the glass vial. So five mil and now it says just add three drops of the pH indicator and then shake that for 10 minutes all right let's see what happens one two three I like it didn't really want to come out of there when they I'm glad it did come out. And it says after we add that, shake it for 10 seconds. So nine, ten. Alright. And then it says remove the cap. And after we do that, we have to use the chart to compare exactly where it's at. And it says we will remain stable for five minutes. After that, we're going to have to start all over. So we're going to have to look down into the vial to see exactly where our pH is at. And from what I can tell, it's pretty dark. It looks like it might be 8.2. Yeah, I'm getting 8.2. So I think that's pretty much it, where that was at. All right, next one we'll do is the uh, KH. All right. Now, KH, we'll shake the solution up, and we have to use the little dropper that was provided, and it says add one drop and shake for 10 seconds until we reach the color that we're trying to get. Uh, let's see what it says. Continue adding one drop at a time and shake for 10 minutes until the sample changes to the, you know the color or the end color that you're looking for so let's see what color it starts off with but we'll still have to shake it every 10 seconds between drops all right let's see what we get seven Hopefully it ends up where the other one's at, but I don't think so. We're at eight now. Nine. Nine. Ten. 
Hmm. So ten. Ten. One more. Eleven. Okay, here we go. Eleven. Start turning green. Twelve. Overdose gets yellow, which means you're at. So we'll go back one. So we're at eleven. When we uh, last dosed it, we that green. So eleven on the chart. Put the rest of the solution back in here. So 11 on the chart gives us 11. It also gives us an MEG of 3.93. So that's definitely higher than what I got off of the uh, API one. Hmm. Interesting. All right. We'll set that to the side. We'll make sure you remember that was 11. Next test we have to do is the nitrate test. And the nitrate is this one right here. And it says, use a syringe provided, place exactly five mils of water in a test vial. Hey, I'm running out of test vials. I only got three. I have to wash a couple of them out, I guess, to finish the other two tests. But we'll go ahead and do the nitrate test and see what we get. Five mils of water in there. And it said it has five drops of NO2, NO3 reagent A. Okay. Where was that? Man, where am I at now? NO2, NO3 A. We'll add five drops. It even has drop it on there too. Give it a good shake. I said add five drops of this one, close the vial, and shake it for 10 seconds. Four, five. Man, I'll tell you one thing these titrations do not want to come out of the vial. Then we'll do this one for. Ten seconds it said. Ten. Alright, now we've done that. We'll add reagent B. We have to add a level spoon of that. There is a level spoon. Hold the vial and this one we got shaped for 60 seconds. So here we go. And we're done. Now, it says add reagent C. That was A, B, and where is my C? And what we have to do is add a level spoon of reagent C. And close the valve and we'll shake that again for like 10 seconds. All right, that's our 10 seconds. Now we have to wait nine minutes with this chart to determine what the color should be. So what we'll do is get that top on there. And we'll just let this one here sit for 10 minutes. And we'll see what we got. All right, nitrate, nitrite, to do a nitrite test. It says use the syringe provided and place exactly 16 mils of the water in a glass vial. Uh, what we'll do, we'll 
take one from the pH that we already know is at 11. And we'll empty this one out and we will, matter of fact, we'll do both of them. Because we already know that this is 8.4 or 8.2. And we know that the DKH is at 11. So we'll dump these out. All right. 16. 16 mils. All right. Five. Ten. Fifteen. And one more will make it sixteen. Hmm, interesting. I asked for that many just in the nitrite test. Anyway, add one drop or add one drops of reagent A and then shake that for 10 seconds. Alright, let's add one drop. Shake for 10 seconds, it's in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. Now after we've done that, it says add reagent number C, or letter C, I'm sorry. We'll add a Double spoon of that. And then shake for 10 seconds. And after that, we'll have to let it sit. It said for nine minutes. Memory card. Mm -hmm. Memory card. Oh, well, I'll empty. I'm about to be on the Yeah. Okay, now for the ammonia test kit, it says place five mils of water in the valve. We're going to use this one from a Salford test that I have. Five mils. Okay. Add a level measuring spoon of reagent A, which is right here. And we have to shake that one for 10 seconds after we add this one. Level give it a good shake for ten seconds. That's ten seconds. Now reagent B it said add five drops of that. And then we'll shake it for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five. All right. And we'll do the same thing for C, it says. Reagent C. Now, we'll shake it again. And now we wait for at least 15 minutes and see what happens. All right, it's already been 15 minutes. 
for our ammonia test and let's see what the results are looking down inside the valve it looks like I'm seeing a reading of zero which is very very good and confident for me lets me know that my water quality when it comes to the ammonia level is where it needs to be if it was at point two and you know, that would be okay I just have to keep monitoring it but um, at zero I know that I'm good to go so in comparison to the API some of the levels yeah they were almost pretty much accurate I know like when it comes to the nitrate the nitrate test when it comes to the PPMs of it they were almost they were pretty much in lockstep so that test I can say you know API pretty much nailed it their ammonia one they didn't uh, it had 0.25 on the API this one has zero which is good for me so I don't have to keep wondering oh I'm you know quarter PBM high than I need to be nitrite they were pretty much dead on with each other it's reading zero here at the Red Sea and it's also reading zero from API DKH was a little little suspect for me I didn't like that too much with the API um, I got a DKH of nine I think it was yeah it was nine but with the Red Sea uh, I got a DKH of 11 so that is and if this is more accurate than the API then I'm getting a false reading over there on their end uh, which is telling me oh you you know you're two degrees uh, higher than what you should be so this one I'm gonna trust the Red Sea and what I'll do is let that DKH fall down I'll keep testing it every day pretty much see exactly where we're at and then once we get to around 9 and once we're there that's where I want to stay API is gonna say oh yeah you're reading the 7 you're you're a little too low no I'm pretty much dead on with it so that's a good thing you know I like about having this red C test make sure everything is accurate the pH they were both pretty much in lockstep um, they were reading by 8.2 so that's a good thing I think that's pretty much it I think that this red C was really well worth the money I enjoyed you know doing this comparison and I really got clearer and more understanding of exactly what's going on in my tank you know instead of you know the numbers with the API not really being all that accurate but um, I would recommend anyone buying this kit. And like I said again, Red Sea. At least give us two more vials, please. We need two more vials. That way we can complete the test all at once instead of having to start over and dump out and do another test. And also, you know, like I said, shout out to saltwateraquarium.com. They're the guys that I purchased this test kit from. <clears throat> it came in like in two days after I ordered it. And it, I think it came all the way from Pennsylvania. So that was a very, very quick rush that they got it down here. I appreciate it. No problems with it. Everything was intact. Um, and they, like I said, put a little bit of, of their brochures and pamphlets in there, which, you know, I felt like was good plus, and I can use some of those. I'll visit them again. And also, pretty much coming up, if you live in our area, South Carolina, North Carolina, you got Reef Dreams. Reef Dreams is going to be pretty good reef convention coming up on March 9th uh, from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. at the Omar Shriners uh, Arena. So you guys come out and meet some cool dudes that's going to be on there and gals. A uh, little like Jason Fox is going to be on there. Josh Pork Sandwich uh, along with uh, Gonzo's Corals. They're going to be there as well. Sea Critters, which is a local one that I pretty much, you know, uh, go to that out there in Myrtle Beach. Um, also, we got Leon's Lagoon. There's another one that's close by. Another LFS I uh, pretty much frequent. Um, so, you got to have Carolina Aquatics. They're going to be there as well. So, it's going to be a cool show. Uh, $40 to get in. And that gets you in a little half hour before everything starts. And then after that, you know you got ten dollar general admission so if you're in the area come on out to read dreams I'm sure it's gonna be great we're gonna do a little bit of footage from that as well 
just to let you know what been happening, what was going on there, and hopefully you enjoy it. That being said, we'll see you later from Jesse's Aquarium. Yeah.